Okay, so here goes. Um, I'm going to use the guide that I made to help us do this so that it's left to right as far as the serial dilution goes. Or not serial dilution, I guess, but anyways, I'm going to use this guide. So first you would need to uh, reconstitute your calibrator with 0.5 mLs of DI water, I believe, and it, I think it takes about half an hour before you want to use it. And then you actually have the D-dimer calibrator one. This is the actually, this is what the zero standard is on the guide. So zero standard is the D-dimer calibrator one, and it's basically nothing. I mean, it's, I don't know if it's DI water or what, but it, it has nothing in it. Okay, so after you, oh, I also have my racks set up already. These are the racks that we use. They're labeled D-Diver 1 through 6. And 1 is our 0, and 6 is the highest level of D-Dimer. So I'm just going to start as if I'd already reconstituted everything I needed. So using the guide, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start by adding the 0 standard to my tubes. As you can see, 1 through 5 get the zero standard. It's labeled there at the bottom. And tube six, you can see, has a little line. That means it's not getting the zero standard because that's going to be our 100% um, uh, D-dimer calibrator. Now I'm not going to actually do this, but I'm just going to use water to represent everything. And once again, this would be my pretend D-dimer calibrator one which is the zero standard. It's the one that's already reconstituted. It's a liquid in the box. Okay, so that what I did was just was 250 microliters in tubes one through five of the zero standard. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my uh, pipette to the 500 microliters. And I'm gonna do just the 500 microliters of my reconstituted um, D-dimer calibrator two. So, here's my pretend. So, you put this initially 500 microliters in tube 6. So, now that I have the zero standards added to tubes 1 through 5, and I have the actual calibrator, which is D dimer calibrator 2, the one I reconstituted added to tube 6, then I want to start my serial dilution. So the serial dilution is going to start in tube 6. I'm going to take out 250 microliters and I'm going to add it and then I'm going to continue doing that. Now to reduce the amount of possible carryover, I'm going to change my pipette tip in between every single one that I do. So just keep track of where you are as you're changing them. So start with the 250 microliters of six, add it to number five and mix it a bit. Then change your pipette. And then take it out 250 and then go down the line. And just remember that you are not going to do this to position one. Okay, so you start here, 250 microliters, and you just serial dilute 250 microliters down, and you stop at tube number two, 
make sure that you change pipette tips so there you reduce the amount of carryover. I don't know if that's an actual step in it, but that's what I do, and it usually works for me. So there you go. So as it's set up, this will be your zero, and it'll slowly get more concentrated until it's fully concentrated, 100% of the original calibrator. Hope that helps.